Hey everyone, welcome back to Genshin Digest. There are a lot to cover this time, so let's just jump into it. It's been 3 days since Child's second rerun, but something interesting has already happened. You see, here's how his 2-day sales went in China compared to other banners. It's pretty low, right? But when we compare it to the Japan side, things took a really sharp turn. According to GameEye, Child's second rerun has racked up 796 million yen or 6.98 million US dollars so far. Not to mention, Genshin's app popularity shot up 17 ranks in the first two days of his second rerun, making it number one. It has been dethroned now. Still, rank two though. I guess his popularity is very high in Japan, huh? Considering this is his second rerun. Though that also begs the question, how long will his magic last? Apparently, there is this TikTok event going on in China. It's a creator incentive program where participants can do provided tasks and have a chance to earn 6,000 Primo Gems grand prize. Two tasks revolve around making a video about Genshin, and the other two is to share the page and follow Genshin's social media account. But since there is no official announcement of this for global everywhere, big chance this is Chinese player only. The global does have its own program though. If you have 3000 Twitch followers, you can apply to become Genshin's official streamer partner. You'll get many benefits listed in here and possibly more. With this too, looks like Genshin really want to get more creators going, huh? Starting on November, MiHoYo will open pre-order for official illustration book volume 1. It will be filled with all of the artwork, key visual, and in-game illustration up to patch 1.6. This 176 pages book will be sold for 156 yuan or around 25 US dollar on Taobao. But as with many other merchants, should be available on other hobby shop too. In case you haven't noticed, you can play Genshin with 120 FPS now on iOS. iOS only? Yes, because according to Engadget.com, Apple forces third-party apps to update and support iPhone 13's 120Hz display. Android and PC haven't forced that yet, but with this update, expect them to follow suit soon. And that's all for this episode. All related links are in the description down below. Have a great day and thank you for watching.